a very good morning my dear students uh, today i will uh, give a brief introduction to automobile engineering course okay so that is the module first one okay so introduction to automobile okay so nowadays the automobile vehicle has become a very basic necessity for all the person okay so all every each and person okay so but in the where not only the uh, person uh, by individual it is also required for the business for business purpose okay so servicing automobile has become a, one of the most biggest business in the world okay so every person having a vehicle so without a vehicle a person Person cannot uh, uh, live okay so normally the vehicle run based on the uh, with the help of that is the IC engine okay now they are IC engine components they are using in order to obtain the motive power from the vehicle in recent years a huge uh, challenges are made in the design of automobile to provide the safety and easy of uh, operation reliability comfortness less fuel consumption okay so not only IC engine vehicles nowadays a new vehicles are coming that is a hybrid car electric car okay now so these all are comes under in the automobile engineering course okay so automobile nothing but auto means nothing but the self mobile means the motion self motion self self motive uh, self forwarding uh, is called as automobile okay now so so automobile is nothing but the self propelled vehicle generally driven by an ic engine and it is used for the transportation of the passenger or goods one okay so is called as automobile okay so automobile is nothing but the self motion of a vehicle is called as an automobile okay so for example car bus truck scooter etc okay so this is about the automobile okay so automobile engineering can be classified to based on the different uh, uh, purpose okay as different uh, uh, uses okay so first one is uh, first classification is based on the purpose purpose okay here uh, pass, uh, purpose can be classified into two types again the passenger cars and the uh, good carriers okay so passenger cars can be ca uh, cars buses okay so good carrier means the uh, trucks okay so second is uh, fuel used okay petrol engine diesel engine electric uh, steam engine okay but it is not used but it is also it is used in the power plant engine okay so based on the capacity so heavy uh, vehicle low vehicle again okay? it is a trucks buses tempo jeeps okay based on the construction single unit or rt calculation okay the trailer tractors etc okay so based on the driver that is a left hand right hand okay number of wheels two wheel uh, three wheel four wheel okay based on the body that is a hatchbacks sedum convertible station wagon vans special purpose of the vehicle also used for the special purpose means school college buses okay now what are the main components of an automobile engineering okay so main power of auto, uh, component of an IC engine is the engine power that is the engine engine is must that is a power plant okay so engine nothing but to supply the power to the all the wheels so it is a source of power first one second one is the frame and the chases okay frame is very very important to support the weight okay it support the engine wheels body braking system steering system okay and the transmission system is also very important transmit means we can transfer the power from the engine to the all the four wheels okay and the body and the controls the whole body can be controlled uh, okay and accessories that is including the light and the air conditioner harrier stereo wiper uh, open okay, etc these are some of the components of an uh, automobile okay so next one is uh, what is the present now so present the automobile industry has one of the biggest uh, business in the world okay so in recent year the tremendous amount of uh, changes has been occurred in the automobile sector okay that is a hybrid car electric car okay and the two more powerful forces have been uh, uh, at workplace, so there is a challenge of a foreign automotive manufacturers and the federal law of made by the government of covering. Okay, so there is a automotive air pollution, automotive safety, automotive air fuel economy. So, wide range of changes going to happen in the present day. Okay not only those these two forces has caused the manufacturers to develop the new generation of uh, vehicle okay the lightweight vehicle so fuel efficient vehicle okay this is an ongoing revolution process is going on okay now for every year there is something different uh, uh, new devices is coming in the vehicle okay the new future so automatic opening uh, door okay now the top portion is also opening automatic okay these are some new uh, innovation innovation ideas which our manufacturer can be doing okay so the here the new innovation ideas it is a few of these innovation include as of now present it is anti lock braking system okay so already we studied this anti lock braking system okay so traction it is a control system automatic control vehicle four wheel steering system four wheel drive okay so all wheel drive so electronically control the active suspension system supplement uh, supplemental resistance system that is the airbags is coming sequence portal fuel injection and host of the other innovation system so these are some new kind of innovation systems which are adapting in the vehicle okay next one is the design manufacturing of automobile how to design okay so manufacture people the design the outlook is very very important for the vehicle okay so here the engineering design and the manufacturing skill have 
who made the modern motor car simple to operate the economical to maintain okay the to achieve the utmost simplicity of the operation and thus the ensure the greatest utility engineers have made a many design uh, you know improvement and have uh, added devices from the time to time okay so outlook of in vehicle is very very important to purchase the uh, car okay so that is also going to change every year okay same here the manufacturing skill is very very important okay so the combined uh, combination of that is with improved design and, and uh, affected great savings so that the economical transportation has been become available and to the money millions okay not only outlook is good along with that the new futures will be coming into that okay so at the same time the improvement in the manufacture method have made it possible to use the better material and closer tolerance so that the car life has been tremendous increase okay so safety purpose also they are making in something different and new in the uh, present vehicle okay so outlook and seat arrangements uh, uh, seat level okay so few new features so that is a uh, radio fm okay so that uh, on the olden days there is no space for tv in the small tv that is a small tv or something uh, like in the tab okay nowadays we can uh, that place also we are finding we are uh, getting in the car only next what are the components of a four wheel automobile okay so about 1500 separate parts are to be put together make an automobile okay so these are the minimum component for the to make in one uh, four wheel vehicle okay so these parts are grouped into a several system each system is made up of two or more parts that the work together to perform a specific job okay the automobile the automotive vehicle are produced in the large variety of size and uh, shapes okay so all are having some basic parts and system and they are working in uh, different fashion okay so here then this is about the layout of an uh, automobile okay so here the four wheels will be there okay now tire one tire two tire three tire four and the, here the engine so engine next to the gearbox in between engine and gearbox there will be a clutch is uh, fixed okay and here the long shaft is that is called as the propeller shaft and these two are suspension okay so brake systems will be adapted in the near to the wheel okay here steering system will be there okay so from the engine power can be uh, developed from the power can be transported to the all the four wheel with the help of uh, this gearbox okay now clutches means whenever you require you can clutch whenever you don't require you can that is an uh, automatic okay now when we require you can operate as if not means not required okay so from the engine only we are getting the power from the all the four wheel okay the steering means uh, you can run the vehicle left hand or right hand okay anytime okay this is about the uh, just a brief anatomy of an it is a layout of an automobile okay so what are the major components of an uh, this uh, okay so here the major components of an automobile are engine is required must to develop power okay to run the vehicle and power train that is a transmission system that is a transmission the power from all the four wheel and suspension system steering system braking system electrical system in the body okay so here an engine so engine means what so in the engine power can be developed from the that power can be transmitted to the all the four wheels to run the vehicle with the help of uh, some transmission gear boxes okay so that is about an engine so fuel system so fuel system it will supply the fuel to the engine and after uh, supplying the fuel combustion takes place then uh, it will uh, produce an uh, power okay so that is the storage can it consist of a storage tank piping work okay etc okay so it's about the fuel system with help of fuel only we are getting the power okay ignition system once fuel is supplied then ignition takes place in the combustion chamber okay the main function of this one is to supply the high voltage uh, source to the desired instant of the attractive strength to produce a spark in the engine okay so lubrication system when the here so during running motion there is a, some parts will be very high temperature so to reduce that we are using lubrication system okay so lubrication system keep the all the moving parts inside the engine coated with a layer of an oil constant okay it, it will reduce the wear and uh, wear of the engine parts cooling system so cooling is very necessary in the engine system otherwise it will uh, uh, become very heat okay so there is a chance of uh, blast okay so here cooling system is very very important in the vehicle so the main function of this cooling is to remove the just enough heat so that the engine runs smoothly at the proper temperature okay so it may be water cooling or oil cooling anyone okay so here exhaust system also there exhaust system used to vent the exhaust gases with the least back pressure okay so the, 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 from the exhaust system you can uh, expel out the uh, waste gases uh, produced in the uh, engine okay so it will reduce the engine noise with the help of that muffler okay so electrical system is also there uh, it consists of in a storage battery charging system storage system okay so in electrical vehicle instead of in ic engine component we are using electrical system to store the battery from the battery we are getting the energy to supply the motor from the motor all the four we can supply with the help of transmission system then vehicle can move okay so this is about the electrical system 
so here power train and power transmission system is also very important here so the power train carries the power from the engine to the drive wheel so what i told the transmission main function of transmission system is to transmit the power to all the four wheels okay with the help of what the clutches transmission transaxle transfer case drive shaft differential component so these are the components which will be to the shaft so this only we can transmit the power so this is about uh, the what the brief introduction about uh, automobile uh, engineering course okay so just to understand that automobile nothing but uh, self moting uh, vehicle okay automatically uh, we can run the vehicle so such components are called as automobile okay so i hope you understand this uh, automobile engineering uh, brief introduction so thank you